Oh, hey. Good to see you again. Nothing smells normal anymore. If you wake up and find it missing, go fishing first. That's not a thing for tech. I'm all for taking what ain't mine. Is it daytime out there? You can lose track of time time. Well, hey, if it ain't 7-6. I heard all about what you did for Gale and Rara. Gale seemed pretty happy to see Rara. Still, I'm pissed no one around here would lift a finger for him, so... Guess I'm glad you came by. Well, look at you, all humble and shit. Listen, it's a bigger deal than you think. That little girl just might be the only reason Gale's so chill, and not trying to eat us like all the other super mutants out there. Glad you asked. The vault we're breaking into is gonna have a lot of security. The kind explosions and muscle ain't gonna help with. You want to get by security or any other surprises? There's only one guy I trust to get the job done. Gentleman Johnny Two Guns Weston. Hell yeah. Always be upgrading. That's what Avery says. We ditched Margie for Meg and that old ski slump for the greater. And a good thing, too. We'd either be long dead or one of those scorched things would be stuck with Margie. No kidding. But they feel so here's what's what. Now. Johnny's the real deal. Best guy I got. I won't do this job without him. Think of him as an insurance Always policy. Thing is, on account of him being so critical to our success, he thinks he gets to do as he pleases. And to some degree, that's true. That being said, he can be fickle. If he doesn't want to do a job, well then Johnny doesn't do a job. Since you know what's at stake here better than I do, 
I want you to see if you can't convince him this is the right job for him, you dig? I got my own problems to worry about. Good luck, 7-6. He may need a little convincing. Don't be afraid to give him some incentive to work this job. Appalachia belongs to us. There ain't nobody that can prove me wrong. Ah! Oh, we should have thrown in with that guy in the first place. You want something? You take it. It's the only way to live. Always speaking in riddles. You lost? That little concoction of yours, better do the trick. If any of my people turn scorched after this? Hey there, Vault Dweller. I've heard all about the plans for that Vault 79 raid of yours. So I'll spare you the time and tell you I'm in. All that sweet, sweet gold is as good as ours. And you've done a good job with that, haven't you? Don't worry, you were plenty careful. But old Johnny's got his ways. Seriously, don't remember? I got my own problems talking about. Hey, catch? It's not a catch so much as it is a business deal. Before I sign on for your vault raid, I need you to do something for me. You've got the kind of skills I need to help pull off a very important job. What kind of trouble did he get into this time? Uh, glad you asked. Simple answer, it's a two-person job. So here's what's what. I used to run jobs with my partner, Hal. Hal's a dear old friend. Known him since before the war. Hal and I went our separate ways when I joined up with Meg's crew. Now he's being held as a slave by a group of unsavory hooligans out by Watoga. And being forced to do who knows what. I got a plan to free him. All right. I knew you'd be on board. So, these guys run an arena in what used to be the Watoga Civic Center. People fight for riches, food, supplies, whatever they're willing to bet. Half the competitors are slaves, and their masters are betting on them. Others are just people trying to make their fortune. Whoa, kick it down a notch, Captain Murder Hobo. That's plan B. Plan A is all about safety and finesse. I want to pass you off as my slave. I'll make a deal to sell you to Hal's Master after you win the competition that will rig in your favor. Once you get into the slave quarters, you and Hal will break out and rendezvous with me. Any questions? As you should. What? Fair enough. I know it sounds insane, but trust me, I've pulled off much more complicated and dangerous cons. This is nothing. If you stick with me and do what I tell you, it'll go smooth as pre-war butter. I'll be doing all the heavy lifting. You will. I'm gonna rig the competition in your favor, so there's no way you'll lose. 
Now, on the off chance you somehow fail, I won't be happy, but we'll have to improvise. Think of this as a trial run for the vault job. It'll let me know how much I can trust you. All right, so here's how it'll go down. Meet me at the Watoga Civic Center, and I'll do some legwork before you get there. You'll want to slip in the back entrance. I'll be waiting, in character. We'll get you into the competition, and I'll go over the final details with you once I know more. See you there, partner. Ah, never should have thrown in with that guy in the first place. You want to survive, you do what you gotta do. I got my own problems to worry about. Is that a... No, couldn't be. Always speaking in riddles. What kind of trouble did he get into this time? Always speaking in riddles. Hold up without me.
June handles the supplies. Lady, I will paint the walls with you if you don't tell me where Crane's treasure is right now! Sweetheart, I think you must be sick. Honey, you picked the wrong time to get a drink. What are you... Hey! Who the hell are... Whoa, uh, you, you, you looking for trouble? Because... because you're gonna find it. I told you it was going to end badly. Now I'm hoping you're here to have a drink and play nice. I've had a gun pointed at me more than enough for one day. Huh. Well, not exactly the introduction to the wayward I would have hoped for. Oh, sorry about that, darling. First round's on me. First round's on me. Name's Duchess. There's something I could do for you. Well, look who's back. Anything I could do for you? Your guess is as good as mine, sweetheart. 
He busted in here saying I needed to turn over the location of some fellow named Crane, who I guess I must have served at some point or another. Since then, a steady stream of miscreants has been making my life irritating. Not exactly good for a budding business. Now that you mention it, I could use an extra pair of hands. See? That boy we put down? He's not the first of his crew to roll in here. But I want him to be the last. Normally, I'd send my people out to clean house. But my muscles run off, so I don't have the bodies to spare right now. But I'm willing to pay good money if you put an end to this for me. So, what do you say? That's what I was hoping. So, the details. Now, each of these boys came in asking after Crane. I'm thinking we can make that work for us. How would you grab the attention of a bunch of single-minded thugs? Well, aren't you a smart cookie? And I think I know just how to do it. Just give me one second. Okay, I think I'll just... Uh, I just want you to know, architecture ain't exactly my forte. Huh, not half bad. So what I have chicken scratched together here for you is the schematic for one custom-made Crane Treasure Hunting Inc. sign. If I didn't butcher the plans too bad, it's got a little system built in that'll make sending out an advertisement and getting this gang's attention a snap. You just need to build it, use the tape it spits out to tell the world you're open for business, and then convince any punks that show up to tell you where their boss is hiding. They did teach you all how to build from schematics up in that vault of yours, didn't they? That's the spirit. Hey, if you need a refresher, good old Morty Mort can help you out. What are you on about, Mordecai? Hey, nah, I'm not bragging or anything. But I've got some tapes that cover that very subject. Oh, Mort, not the tapes. Well, you find yourself wanting a refresher? Talk to Mort. Of course you're gonna need materials. But we should have enough lying around to cover you there. Get you together a little care package. Throw some rations in there, too, so you don't starve on me. And so you know, you might have to break some of this scrap down for parts. But I can spot you some workbench materials, too, since you're doing me such a big one. Who knows? Maybe you'll learn something while you do it. Now, you ready to get this show on the road? It is a lot to ask. Fine. I could do 75, but that's as high as I'll go. That means you're up to the task? Hot dog. Be good to have those dolts off our back at long last. Just make sure once you find out where they're hiding, that their leader gets the message. The wayward gets left alone. Oh, and on the topic of leaders? You know, one of my people found this tape in the camp across the way, recorded by one overseer of Vault 76. It's a little out of date at this point, but it seems it might have been left for someone from her vault. Maybe it was waiting for you? Sounds like she set the camp up so her people could get some practice in Self-reliance. Probably worth looking into if you think you could use a little refresher.
Glad to hear vault Tech actually took care of some of their people. You hear these rumors, right, about him just throwing folks to the wolves. Here's some rations and a fancy suit. Good luck. Well, don't you worry that smooth little face of yours. You are in good company now. Because around here, we look after one another. Now, what can I do for you? Allergies. Learn the hard way. I can't stand within 10 feet of a strawberry. <laughs> Come on, man. That's a joke. Truth is, I was outside on doomsday. Now you see. I drove security, and I was coming back from a pickup in the truck when I feel this rumble, and it quiet. Then a whole lot less quiet. And the truck was hit with this wind, and it was like someone dropped a hurricane on it. I can hear it battering in the truck. Bang, 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 like it's got a grudge against it. And then I unlock the door and into the back, and then, bang, I wake up, man, and it's crazy. Somehow, in the back of the truck, alive and kicking. And all it cost me was my skin, and any opportunity for someone liking me for anything other than my lovely personality. And that was the day I became, well, they call us schools, not the most flattering name, but still beats being vaporized. Listen, friend, you happen to be talking to the exact right person to fix your predicament. But if I'm gonna help you, I want something in return. Suit yourself. Some other time then. Talk to me. Allergies. Come for the view? What's up? I mean, it's got its main one is that also means I could survive in situations that would turn a normal person into a TV. The major downside, there's also, but ever since I turn, that I will have to feast. Ser seriously? Hey there, something you need? Listen, friend, you happen to be talking to the exact right person to fix your predicament, but all right, listen, I got this plan, and you're gonna help me get rich. See, the folks who made it big off the gold rush, they weren't the prospectors. They were the folks that sold them their shovels. Now, I don't do shovels. What I collect is knowledge. I can go all sorts of places you folks with your rad sucking skin can't. So, I'm selling what I've got between my ear holes, and you're gonna test it for me. I made these hollow tapes. Now this sets all the info I dug up about that camp doohickey you Volters got. All I'm asking is you give them a listen and let me know what you think. You will? Oh, thank you. I mean, <clears throat> thanks. Just come back once you've taken them out for a test drive. Now, is there anything else you wanted to chat about? I mean, it's got its advantages. Main one is that radiation rolls off me like water off a duck's ass. Can stride through a blast zone like it's a spring breeze. Also, means I can survive in situations that would turn a normal person into a TV dinner. The major downside? Well, shit, you're looking at it, right? Head to toe disfiguration. There's also, well, you might have seen them. Not all ghouls are saying. Not sure how it happens, why some ghouls lose their minds and others don't. But ever since I turn, there's always this nagging feeling just at the back of my mind that I will have to feast on humans! Ser seriously? Nothing? Shit, I thought it was funny. Overall, though, being a ghoul makes bag. Can't say I'd recommend it as a lifestyle choice. I did, and your eyes still working, kids. That's the reason you're bringing up the obvious. Look, the world's hard now. Betty you learn that lesson real fast. Don't have one. I'm an independent operator. When these folks need a hand or got an errand that involves running into radiation, they come to me. Rats, <laughs> they don't bother me anymore. In exchange, Duchess lets me drink. It doesn't bother me too much about my tab. Really, about the best sort of setup a guy in my situation could ever ask for. Well, at least until the tapes take off.
Hunter's Log, south of Vault 76. I, I knew this wasn't going to be the Appalachia I remember. Mutated animals? Haywire bosses? have to be ready to rebuild in what I can confirm is hostile territory. Fortunately, Vault Tech was prepared. You see this? The cooking station, the stash bombs, the workbenches, all built with the camp. You need a home base out there. The construction and assembly mobile platform is designed to give you just add resources, planning, and a little elbow grease. When you move your camp, everything you've built is stored, ready to be placed back down in the new area. Use this to establish a foothold for this unfamiliar territory. I've left my camp behind so you can use it. I know I'm breaking my own advice by not taking it with me. But after seeing Appalachia for myself, I need to make sure every resident of 76 has a safe haven they can start from. I'll make do without it. If it's still standing, the town of Flatwoods is further down this road. Find me the Sign up.
Overseer's log, south of Vault 76. I, I knew this wasn't going to be the Appalachia I remembered, but... Mutated animals? Haywire boss? No people so far. We have to be ready to rebuild in... What I can confirm is... Hostile territory. Fortunately, vault Tech was prepared. You see this? The cooking station, the stash box, the workbenches, all built with the camp. You need a home base out there. The construction and assembly mobile platform is designed to give you one. Just add resources, planning, and a little elbow grease. When you move your camp, everything you've built is stored, ready to be placed back down in the new area. Use this to establish a foothold whenever you're in unfamiliar territory. I've left my camp behind so you can use it. I know I'm breaking my own advice by not taking it with me. But after seeing Appalachia for myself, I need to make sure every resident of 76 has a safe haven they can start from. I'll make do without it. If it's still standing, the town of Flatwoods is further down this road. Find me there. This is the Overseer, signing off. Overseer's Law, Grafton. The mayor of Grafton used to be the automated assistant. And it's gone completely mad. Still trying to run the town. Even holds elections for itself. We built these machines to do things without us. And they have. Might be useful if I played along. Overseer's log. Or should I say, direct communication. Because whoever is listening to this had the moxie to try to find out where I've gone. But I'm glad you did. Truth is, I need your help. I've been given a task and... I've decided to break protocol and tell you what it is. Because if there's one thing I've learned in these past few years, it's that we need to rely on each other. There were three active nuclear silos in Appalachia before the bomb fell. It blew up the world before. We can't let it happen again. So we've got to locate and secure all of the silos. Or die trying. Hopefully the former. But it's been 25 years. I just don't know what we're gonna find out there. Or where to start. My directive was to go to the nearest population center and assess the situation. I'll set up a camp on the way once I get my bearings. Find me there. Overseer's Log, top of the world. There's someone in control of this old ski resort, and if I ever find her, I'm gonna wash her mouth out with the first thing vaguely resembling soap I can get my hands on. Oh. Selfish. That's the word. Maybe that's why she's alone. Maybe that's why she survived. But the only way she'll tell me what she knows is if I help her first. All the good people I've learned about who've died and it's the sociopath who still gets to live.
former vault resident or someone who killed a vault resident, let's start off with the basics. Placing your camp. When plugging down your camp, C-A-M-P, that's an acronym, for the first time, remember to... Remember to take the lay of the land. Consider the grade of the terrain, general defensibility and proximity to your surroundings. Could that cliff edge be used to protect your flank? You bet your chops it could. Once you've found the perfect spot, it's time to move on to the best part of working with your camp. Construction! Construction can be an intricate process, so a steady hand and an eye for detainment, <clears throat> details, damn, I had to get that one, an eye for details are a must. You should take a moment to familiarize yourself with the camp's patented intuitive construction interface. But don't worry, we'll cover construction in gory detail in the next of Headmaster Mort's edutapes. So long. Who's there? Come on, what was that?